So we're going to start out seated. So what I have always done, um, particularly when I first started practicing yoga, was before I try to sit cross-legged, I would do a lot of hip workers. So I invite you to come with feet nice and wide as wide as your mat, arms beside you or behind you if you want to get a little over with your shoulders. We'll just begin to let those knees fall left. So these are called pro crawl. I don't know why. Um, but also known as windshield wiper hip and windshield wiper knees. Just feel into the hips. Our joints tend to be a little stiff when we wake up because they haven't been moving much. And then notice the breath. So see if you can inhale knees to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. If you want more range of motion, take those feet maybe a little wider. Yeah. Inhale up, exhale to one side, pause, and move your hip forward and back. Again, letting the opening through the back. Moving that hip forward and back. Hands on the hip just to sort of help you to stay focused. And one more time, moving that forward and back, and then we'll inhale knees to the center. Exhale to the other side, move that hip. You may feel the piriformis muscle on the side that's resting on the mat, getting a little bit of a massage. We should move back and forth. That's just sort of an added bonus. Inhale forward, exhale back. And one more time. And then inhale up through center. Legs extend out in front of you, sitting up tall. We'll inhale one knee towards us and hug it. Do some circling around, small circles. And then Foot lands on the mat. We inhale nice and tall, roll those shoulders back and down. Right in here. And then extend that leg long. Inhale, other knee towards you. Hug it close to the chest. Lift the foot off the mat. Take some circles out and around. And then again. Foot lands on the mat, hug that knee close to your shoulders, roll up, back, and down as you sit up tall. You can imagine sending breath to the lower back. And then we come to Baddha Kanasa, soles and feet together, knees out to the side, holding onto knees or shins or ankles. Do some butterfly with those knees. Sitting up tall, so notice are you rounding? Can you sit up tall, lifting through the heart? And we'll do some left and right massage in the piriformis muscles. As you breath left and right. And come back through center. And this may be where you are to sit up nice and tall. Maybe you shift hips away from feet so you can sit up tall, or maybe you come on the edge of your blanket, legs cross. So, whatever helps you to sit comfortably with a nice long spine. And drawing attention inward, close your eyes or take a soft, steady gaze at the floor in front of you. And begin to follow breath as it flows in. Follow the breath as it goes out. Um, in. Following breath out. Paying attention to the face. Can you soften the forehead? Soften the eyebrows and space between eyebrows. Can you soften the jaw? Letting tongue. Gently press to the roof of the mouth. 
expansion of shoulders, melting away from ears, making some space in the neck. Hips are soft, knees are soft, ankles and feet are soft. And if you care to, incorporating ujjayi breath, ocean breath. So constricting the throat as you breathe in through the nose. Constricting the throat as you breathe out through the nose. With your fogging up a plane of clouds. Three more rounds of breath, whether that's ujjayi breath or a typical breath in and out of the nose. Next time you inhale, eyes blue. Shaking in the room, colors, the light changes. Allow your arms to rest beside you. As you inhale, shoulders up towards ears. Exhale, slowly let them melt. Inhale, shoulders up towards ears, contracting the muscles, maybe even it twists. Exhale, slowly let them roll back and down. Inhale, shoulders up towards ears, make fists, contract the muscles of the arms, maybe even the muscles of the face. And slowly release. Hands return to thighs, eyes close your soft gaze. Imagine you're dropping a pin on a mat and your tailbone is that pin. <laughs> dropping. Pin on the mat, tailbone, anchoring you here. Not only geographically, but here in terms of presence. Anchoring you here, on the mat, in your body, in the space. Inhale, arms spread wide. Exhale, give yourself a Inhale, arms open wide. Exhale, other arms stack on top, top, top as you give yourself up. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. Other arms stack on top. Exhale. Inhale, open. One arm stacks on top, paying attention to which arm it is, and then pause here, walking your fingertips towards shoulder blades. And imagine setting breath. The back body. Imagine setting breath for that space between shoulder blades. Three breaths. Next time you inhale, open up, spread those arms back. And exhale, other arm stacks on top. Walk fingertips towards the shoulder blades, sit up tall, three breaths here, and imagine setting breath to the space between shoulders. And then inhale, after that third round of breath, and land, and we'll swing feet around for tabletop position. So, if you like blanket on your knees, set yourself up for that. <clears throat> and we're going to work with tabletop position with real awareness to our palms, our hands. So, if wrists are tender, you can dial the fingertips out in the direction of the mat. That's one way to sort of help tender wrists or fold your mat up. 
Heel of the hand on that fingertips on the floor. And I want you to tent the hands. So fingertips press into the mat, the palms lift up off the mat for your table position. Hip reaches away from head, head reaches away from hip. You've got a slight curve in that lower back. Tenting the palms away from the mat, fingertips press down, lengthening tailbone away from the head. Inhale, tilt the tailbone, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, tuck it back. So we're moving through some cat and cow. Inhale, tilt the tailbone, roll the shoulders back as you let abdomen be soft, look into the top of the mat. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around the spine, tuck the tailbone. One more time. Inhale, tilt. And exhale, tuck them around, do a little shift of the weight of the body, left and right. Shifting the weight of the body, left and right. Come back through center. And as hips shift left, lift over the right shoulder. And then shift your hips to the right. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale to center, exhale, hips shift left, look over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center, exhale, hips shift right, looking over left shoulder, back through center. Take a couple more cat and cows. Warming up the hips and the spine. And maybe go a little wider with the knees. Imagine making a figure eight with the tail. So use your imagination, moving the hips in a little different way, maybe than we typically do. Imagine making a figure eight with the tail. Good. Keep those knees wide, arms are wide. We're going to do some barrel rolls. So circling the spine over to the right, down, close to the back, to the left, and up. Imagine it. Your spine is like a jump. Can somebody play jump? Circling down and up. Inhale as you press up. Exhale as you circle over. One more circle in this direction, and then we'll reverse the direction. Inhale up, exhale, all the down. And one more time, we'll circle in this direction. And come back up, keep those knees wide, big toes touch. So knees are wide, big toes touch for thread the needle. I'm gonna offer a number of different modifications for this. A lot of different options for thread the needle. We start with left hand underneath the face. If you just know thread the needle, a, a deep shoulder opener is not going to work with you, then stay with your cat and cow or your barrel rolls or something that works for you. Simply press back to two child's otherwise. We've got left hand under the face. Inhale, sweep that right arm up. And take some circles of the wrist. Circling that wrist, moving through the joint, one direction. And then the other. And then inhale, open that arm up. Exhale, sweep it down between arm and torso. Modification is elbow and forearm are on the mat. And you slide that left hand away, letting the head dip closer to the mat. This is the um, more gentle version of thread the needle. Your other option is keep going with that right arm. Keep going over so that you can rest on your right shoulder and then right ear. Left hand can stay on the mat. Or you can extend it up and circle your wrist in one direction, and then the other, and 
then the final option is you can bend your left elbow and rest the forearm on the lower back. Lift your head up so that you can feel the weight of the body on that right shoulder. And then place your head down. Slow, steady breath. Imagine sending the breath to the right shoulder. Couple of more breaths here. And if left hand's not already on the mat, left hand comes back to the mat, we press into it and unravel our thread the needle. And we come to the other side. <clears throat> Should be right hand under the face on the mat. We sweep the left arm up, we make some circles of the wrist in one direction. And then the other. And open up a little more. Ribs spiraling to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Modification of thread the needle is elbow, forearm, rest on the mat as you slide your right hand away from you. The other option is keep that right hand under the face as you slide even more. Gently resting on left shoulder and then left ear. Right arm can be on the mat or extended up into the air, circle the wrist in one direction and then the other. And keep the arm extended or bend the elbow. Forearm rests on lower back. Focusing the breath, imagine sending it to the left shoulder. Two more breaths here and your thread the needle. Right hand comes back to the mat if it's not already. Press into the hand, unthread. We'll come back. Through our tabletop position, take some back and back. Inhale and exhale. <coughs> Inhale and exhale. And swish that tailbone left and right again, releasing through the hips. And then knees come wide again. And a variation of wide legged like child's pose. So knees wide, big toes touch, just like we did for thread the needle. Hips press back towards heels. Keep your elbows on the mat. As you allow forehead to sink down, maybe you find a block or your sweatshirt to rest your forehead so that you can really surrender in this wide legged like child's pose with elbows on the mat. Three breaths up and down the spine. Maybe even roll your forehead left and right. Roll your head left and right, massaging the forehead, massaging the acupressure points along the eyebrow. So steady breath here. All right, elbows stay on the mat. And they're as wide as your shoulder. And one way to do it to figure out how wide is wide as my shoulder is you cross your arms like I do in G, and you hold up the forearm, the upper arms just above the elbows. That's shoulder width. All right. So now elbows are on the mat, shoulder width, forearms palms on the mat. Stay here or Inhale, float those hands up above the head. Hands come to prayer position above the head for sharp thin pose. So fingertips pointing up to the ceiling, palms floating just above the back of your head. Maybe you walk your elbows away from you a little bit to get a deeper stretch through your shoulders and through the biceps underneath the arm. No, so just kind of walk the elbows away from a deeper experience of sharpness. 
continue to breathe up and down the back. Two more breaths here. And then release and sharpen on to the mat. Inhale, lift up through tabletop position. Knees come parallel. up. And we'll work with puppy stretch. So, in puppy stretch, hips stay over knees. We slide the hands away, arms are fully extended. And we let the head and the heart melt down towards the mat. Maybe forehead rests on a lock. Maybe it finds the mat. And then we lengthen, tailbone away from the head. Maybe even shift the knees back a little bit away from the head. Get more length in the lower leg. Slight tuck of the tailbone, the navel draws up to spine and puppy stretch. So we're not compressing the lower back too much. We tuck that tailbone slightly, draw the navel to spine. And breathe. And inhale, lifting up, slide your hands close to you. Curl your toes under. Maybe make some space. Shift to that pinky toe. We need a little bit of space. We have the toes curled under, and we're gently going to sit back towards the heels. Then we can come in and out because there tends to be a lot of sensation here in the feet, in those toes. As we sit back, it's also better to not hold it if knees are tender. So the weight of the body stretching through the toes, top of the toes, back of the toes. All right, hands come to the mat. Toes are curled under, and we'll lift those hips up, finding a forward fold. So walking hands close to the feet, head is heavy. Use a block if you need it. If that works best for you for your full fold, remember we bend the knees to support the lower back and let the head be heavy. Breathing here in your forward fold. Moving to ragdoll. So in ragdoll, we do just what we did when we were on the mat, finding that shoulder distance, right? For how wide we go with the arms. We fold just above the elbows on the opposite arm. And that makes a little swing for our forehead. So forehead rests on forearms and right leg. And if you want, you can do a little swinging left to right with the elbows and head goes along to the right. Two more breaths here in your right dog. Release fingertips, find the mat, and then we trace a line up the top of the feet, front of the shins, to the thighs, and the length. Length from here. Head reaching away from tailbone, hug the elbows close to the ribs. Press the thigh bones back, <coughs> and then we'll lift up. Arms sweep out and up. Arms sweep down. Fingertips touch in front of the pelvis. Inhale, scooping up. Celebrating the return of the sun. The day is getting longer. Fingertips point in front of the touch in front of the pelvis. One more time. And pause. Pause here. Left palm on top of right. Left palm rests on top of right, in front of the pelvis. Adding juice to this mudra by saying to ourselves the mantra, I am safe and secure at the center of my being. I am safe and secure at the center of my being. I am safe and secure at the center of my being. Breathe And releasing that mudra, warming up the shoulders a bit more. So take some rolls of the shoulder up and 
time, one at a time. Staying here or elbows lift up back to the hands. Inhaling up, exhale all the way. Keep it nice and slow. And maybe you add wrists, inhale, up, exhale, back. And as you add the wrists, follow the wrist with your eyes, gently moving the shoulder of the neck. Turning into how this feels for the shoulders is one a little more tender than the other. We notice without judging. One more time, either side. And then pause with palms faced behind you. Okay, palms faced behind you. Just be pressed into an imaginary wall. Bring the shoulder blades together and down the back. Press, press, press. Inhale. Exhale, press. Inhale, sweep up to a V. Exhale into the shoulder side. Inhale, lift to the heart. Exhale. Elbows level with shoulders, cactus arms. Inhale, broaden your collar. Exhale, hinge down. Press that imaginary wall. So again, shoulder blades together and down the back. Gently press through the wall. Exhale, press. Inhale, sweep up, shape of the V. Exhale, push shoulders down. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, elbows level with shoulders, cactus arms. Inhale, broaden. Shoulder blades together. Exhale, hinge. This time we're going to pulse. Gently pulse in your neck. Lifting through the heart. See if you can engage those abdominals, hip bones to navel, navel thrust in. Good. Keep that nice broad way through collarbones and shoulders as you let your left ear dip towards the left shoulder. Arms are soft. Inhale, left arm up. Hand rests on the side of your head. Gently working. Good stretch inside of the neck, breathing here. And then gentle fist. Inhale, reach the knuckles down to the ground. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach the knuckles down to the ground. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, with a soft palm, press the heel of the hand down to the ground, slowly lifting the arm so you feel a lot of sensation with that press through the heel of the hand. Find that spot. When you've got a lot of sensation on the side of the neck, hand is lifted somewhat from the side body, pressing through the heel of the hand. Imagine sending breath to places where you feel that deep sensation. And release that stretch. Head comes back up to center. Tuck your chin as you roll your shoulders. Sweep chin back to the right. And just move however it feels good to integrate that deep stretch. And then we stand up tall, letting right ear go towards right shoulder. Sometimes you've got to move the neck so it's comfortable to do that stretch and safe. Maybe that chin is tucked a little bit. Inhale, right arm up, elbow bends, hand rests on the side of the head. Breathe in here. Imagine sending breath to the side of your neck. How are you doing with your posture? Can you engage those lower abdominals? Maybe those spine. Inhale, gentle fist, reach down to the ground. Exhale, release. Inhale, gentle fist, reaching down. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, and then slowly pressing through the heel of your left hand, lifting that arm a little bit 
until when you really press through the heel of the hand, you feel that stretch along the forearms, sides of the neck. And gently help your head back up to center, tuck your chin, integrate that stretch in whatever way your body guides you to. And then we'll come to the top of the mat. So you can keep your blanket here because we will come onto our knees in a little bit. Just be mindful of the blanket when we step back to warrior. So we start out with hands on the head. Inhale, sweep up, arms come up, L, uh, shoulders melt away from ears. We come to volcano first. Inhale, heart lifts, exhale, hips press to the right, arms sweep left as you ground through both feet. And back through center, inhale, lift to the heart. Exhale, hips press to the left, arms sweep up and over to the right. Okay. And back through center, hands sweep down to the hips. Now we take a big step back with the right foot to the right edge of the mat and land the foot. So you do have the option of foot planted on the mat, a little angle, just like we do for warrior two. The difference is foot is not in the center of the mat, it's along the side. So big step back with that right foot with an Angle on that back foot. Your other option is toes are curled under, both knees point forward, heel off the mat. So whatever feels best for you. Even a nice wide stance to keep you steady. And that left knee bends. Left knee bends in our warrior one. So pressing into the outer edge of the back foot, if you've got that foot on the mat, bending with your left knee, reaching that left knee towards left knee. Nice. Inhale, sweep up to that V shape, let the shoulders drop. Stay here or find your right wrist. Reach the wrist up and over to the left. And come back through center, open up through water. Uh, sorry, cactus. Elbows level with shoulders, we inhale, blow. Exhale, soften, shoulder blades melting down the back. Stay here, or if you want to come to flying, one, we hinge down and reach the heart forward with the arms extended, palms face the top. Pushing into the feet, we come back up, hands to hips. Step off that back foot. And back foot. It's front and pause. Reading. Maybe right hand comes to abdomen. Left hand comes behind you, resting on the right. Hands come to hips, we'll come to the other side for warrior one. So big step back with the left foot to the left edge of your mat. And you've got a bit of an angle there. Or knees facing forward, heels off, whatever works for you. That front knee is bent, reaching towards pinky toe. And remember, we don't have that knee going past the ankle. We want to step just above the ankle. All right, rounding through the Front foot, the outer edge of the back foot. Inhale, sweep up, let the shoulders soften away from the ears. Abdominal muscles engaged, hip bones drawing to navel, navel draws in. Stay here or reach, finding that left wrist. Draw the left wrist up and over to the right. Back through center, finding your cactus. Palms facing ears were broad through collarbones. Shoulder blades draw together and down. Inhale. 
Yes, yeah. Stay here or hinge, finding your flying warrior. Heart reaches forward, arms are extended, palms switch up. Pushing into your foot, you come up out of our warrior. Flying warrior and back foot meets front, this time palms together. Pause, slowing the breath down. Cleansing breath as we notice our heart beating. And as you dive inside and notice any other sensation. Hands come to hips, big step back with the right foot. Step so that you can face the long edge of your mat with toes facing forward. Yeah. Hands start out on the chest. We inhale, exhale, open up, five-pointed start. Fingers are spread wide, shoulder blades drawing together and down the back. Slight reach of the tailbone down to the mat. Breathing in here. <sighs> Exhale, shoulders soften. Palms facing forward. Five pointed Inhale, broaden, shoulder blades together. Exhale, left hand sweeps down in front of the right toes. Right arm is reaching up behind you. Inhale, come back to your five-pointed star. Exhale. Inhale, broaden. Shoulder blades together. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, sweeping. Right arm down in front of left toes. Reaching that left arm up. Inhale, back up to your five-pointed star. We'll do it again a bit more fluidly. Inhale, broaden. Exhale, sweeping. Inhale, open up through five pointed stop. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, open up. Exhale, sweep down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, sweep down. Back through center. Five pointed start, taking up space here. And then arms float down on one side. You roll your shoulders a few times up, up, down. And then step off that back foot. Keep the other one. And come to the top of your mat with blocks on either side of your feet. Maybe a little behind the feet. We'll take a half sun salutation. Inhale, sweeping up. And <laughs> heart reaches forward, knees bend. Find your forward fold. And then finding the blocks, big step back with the right foot. Big step back with the right foot. Right knee lowers down onto the mat. I like to shift the blocks back so my hands can be under my shoulders as opposed to up here. And when I, because when I do that, we're able to lift up out of the pelvis a bit more. So lifting up through the pelvis, heart lifts, shoulders roll back. Stay here, or left hand finds left thigh. Again, lifting up from the pelvis, and then we sweep our arms up, finding right wrist. Right wrist reaches up to the ceiling and over to the left. Pressing in the base of the front foot, top of the back, navel and spine, helping you to stay balanced and still. <laughs> See if you can roll that right shoulder back. As you draw the wrist up and over to the left, and then we release, come back through our little lunge. Right hip, right thigh are heavy, shoulders rolled back, 
tailbone lengthening down. And then lower your block, the right block, onto the mat. Right hand can stay on the block or it can come to the mat. Left hand and left hip. We inhale, lengthen, heart reaches forward. Exhale, turn to the left. Low, lung, low lunge twist. Hand stays on hip or floats up to elbow. Or you can extend it up in the air, palm facing the left. Low lunge twist. You can make it a high lunge twist if you want by curling the right toes under, lifting right. And breathing. Right here. Fourth. And left hand comes down. We find our little lunge again. And curl right toes under. Lift the knee. Right foot meets left. Cleansing breath here. And then inhale. Hands come to thighs. We lengthen. Arms come out in the shape of a T. Press the thigh bones back. Arms scoop up. And Come to the other side. Inhale, arms sweep down and up. Putting some big life to our knees. Exhale, heart reaches forward, knees bend, finding your pose. And then finding your blocks. Big step back with the left foot and lower that left foot onto the mat for low lunge. Shifting the position of your blocks is helpful so that blocks are on your shoulders, hands can be on your shoulders. Left hip, left thigh are heavy. Table lengthens down. Lift up from the pelvic floor like you're closing your legs together. And then right hand comes to right thigh. We lift them up. Pressing into the base of the front foot, top of the back foot, navel engaged to spine. Inhale, sweep up, finding left wrist. Reach left wrist up to the ceiling and over. To the right, see if your arm can line up with your ear, the bicep of your left arm. Lining up with the left ear, rolling that left shoulder back. Pressing in the base of the front foot, top of the back, lifting up through the pelvic floor. And release, come back down, finding that right arm again. And breathing here. And lowering your left block down, left hand on the lower set of that left block. Right hand comes right up. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, turning to the right, rolling that right shoulder back. Stay here with a hand on hip if that's best for your shoulder. Or hand can come up to shoulder. Or extend it, palm facing the leg. Staying in low lunge. Or curling your toes under, lifting the left knee to the high. Either here or here. And come on back down. Finding that little lunge again. And then right foot comes back. We find table top position. And shift the weight of the body forward. Put those elbows close to the body so that you can lower down, sitting up for cobra. So forehead is on the mat, front body is on the mat. Put the heels open out to the sides. So heels fall out to either side. Pubic bone presses down. We hug those elbows close to the rib cage and lift up a few inches off the mat, looking down the mat for cobra. 
with the center of the pubic bone pressing down, shoulders rolling back, shoulder blades turn together down the back as you eat down at the mat with the long neck. And lower down. Coming into a variation of Cobra, walk your hands off the mat and rest on the fingertips. So not palms down, but fingertips. Draw those shoulder blades together and down the back. Move the bone presses down. Inhale, lift up. And maybe you float your hands off the mat. Or you don't. And stack your hands lower down. One cheek rests on stack hands, bend the knees, windshield up the left. Other cheek rests on stack hands as you continue to work your life through the feet left. And come back through center, circle wrists in one direction. And then the other. And lower your legs down. So I'm going to lead you through child's pose. If knees don't really care for child's pose, just turn onto your back and hug knees to chest. Very same stretch for the lower back. If you're down for child's pose, hands come on the mat, fingertips line up with shoulders. Hug your elbows, close to the rib cage. Pubic bone presses down, we'll press up to cobra and back for a child's pose. And you decide what you want to do with your arms. Walking your fingertips away from you, keeping up on the fingers, like spider hands. Or arms can be in practice. Or down alongside the leg. Using props if they're helpful. A blanket or a rock between thigh and calf muscles is another way to support the knees so you don't come into too deep again. And begin to slow the breath down, imagining as you breathe in, you're breathing down the spine, down the back body. And as you exhale, you're breathing up the front body. Inhale, down the spine. Exhale, up the front body. Circular breath. Breathing down, breathing up. your child's pose, slowing the breath down. And the body for any places that feel tight or that seem to be holding unnecessary tension. Imagine sending the breath there. Sending the breath to those places. Three more breaths here. <laughs> Hands come back onto the mat. <coughs> Lift up through our tabletop position. Take a few more cat and cow here. Inhale. <clears throat> Exhale, tuck it down. In, tuck. Exhale, tuck it down. Even come back 
come on to your back. Hugging the knees to the chest. <clears throat> Keep hold of your right knee as you extend left leg long. So left leg is extended long on the mat. We hug right knee towards chest. And then place the sole of the foot on top of your left thigh. Holding on to that knee with your left hand. Open up the right arm if you have to. Palm can face up or down. Keep that right shoulder anchored as you draw that right knee over to the left a bit and look to the right. So if you lower back concerns, compressed discs, don't come too deeply into that twist. Find the sweet spot where it feels safe and comfortable. A little bit of a twist. Lower back feels fine. Keep drawing that knee over to the left as you look to the right. Breathing into your twist, right shoulder anchored onto the mat. And come on back to center, hold your both knees to chest. Gentle rock, side to side. And extend right leg long, keep hold of that left. I mean, left knee towards chest, towards shoulder, breathing in. And then place your left foot on top of right thigh. Hold on to that knee with the right hand. Open your left arm out in half T. Again, palm faces up or down. And gently draw that. Left <laughs> over to the right as you turn and you look left. Left shoulder anchor. Left shoulder anchor on the left. Breathing in. Nice breathing. One more breath here. And then inhale back through center, hugging both knees to chest. And eventually make your way to Shavasana, lying on your back. A blanket, <laughs> maybe blocks or bolster under knees, if that's helpful to all that. Covering up. Looking for the cold. Yes, you want <laughs> Settling down, settling in, losing this time in stillness. Using the time and stillness to absorb the benefits of your practice. Imagine that you're melting to your mat. Nowhere to go, nothing with the next few moments.
Add to the breath as your mind starts to wander. Imagining with each exhalation that you melt more deeply into the breath. Deep in your breath. Feel your breath fill the lungs. Noticing how the rib cage lifts and expands with the inhalation. It contracts with the exhalation. Make any gentle movement. Fingers or toes or certain wrists and ankles. Put your arms overhead, stretching long. And then hugging knees to chest. Rolling to one side. And pausing in. Pausing, easing the way out of the Shavasana. Following breath in and out. Eventually caressing up. Sitting up tall. Eyes closed for a soft gaze at the corner. Focusing on breath. Feel the breath flowing in. Breath 
floor and design the body. Left hand goes up to the center of the chest. Right hand rests on top of the rafter, bound to center. Honoring the light within, looking at third and right, guiding us on our path. Not lifting those across the path. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, all up to five pigeon star arms spreading center, good and hard looking out. Share partnership. Thank you for being here, friends. Thank you for sharing with you. Namaste. The light in the honors. The light in the honors.